Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another video. And today we're on a really off one. So we're playing Goddess of Victory Nikkei. And pretty much this is kind of this is a gotcha game, uh, anime girls with guns. So um, as you see right here, this is kind of what you have. You can level up your Nikkei as you have mine max level. But I kind of have hit a wall, so it's going to take me a while to get through that wall. And you can also earn armor. And you also have extra perks, which increases the attack and defense of Nikkei. So pretty much that's the recycling room. However, I want to do want to condense this video since it's going to be a one-off video. I don't expect it to get a lot of views. It's kind of how it goes. However, if it does, I will keep making more. So this is pretty much anime goes with guns. And based on the angles you see right here uh, of the UK firing, you guys, can be, you guys are going to be playing for a different reason. Now, I've actually started playing this game on mobile. However, it is available on the PC as well. I'm on the PC client of the game. So I don't want to bore you to death, so I'm going to show you guys some general gameplay, some PvP gameplay, as well as maybe a gotcha, part of the gotcha element. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. It's time I teach all of you a lesson. Alright, so as you see, you can also let the gameplay itself in the top left, you see shift and tab. That's going to be available on mobile too. However, I think I should at least try to play some of these. So I think, see, there we go, that'll be better. So, uh, since I'm at a further note point of the game, hopefully this doesn't affect me too much. There we go. So unfortunately, one of my units have has uh, disconnected. Quick so it does look like um, doesn't like good chances for this. Let's go ahead, block, block, and block. So it does look like we might lose this. Yeah, we actually might lose this. So, um, yeah, this is what the general gameplay will look like. However, it does uh, seem like we're going to lose. Yeah, it's either time or bombardment. We're not going to win this one. So that's pretty unfortunate. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. But, um, yeah. Looks like I wasn't powerful enough, but that's pretty much how it's gonna go. If you do not, if you do not have sufficient power level, you're probably you're most likely gonna fail. Unless you know the good team competitions, then you can fight at a deficit, or if you know what you're doing. However, Arena Nikkei versus Nikkei, uh, this is PvP, so it's not exactly what how you think it goes, but um, as you see here. <clears throat> you have your squad and you have other people's squads so these are real people by the way but <clears throat> these are your usual squads right here and you can pretty much start a battle with any of them Ready? now be aware for certain team compositions like Noah like Noah can block a lot of damage so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now so pretty much it's going to just show a bunch of immune and that's just how that's gonna go but um that's Noah's ability uh which is pretty much that pink one all the way to the right that was her ability but um this game goes a lot deeper and it has a lot more depth to it than any other gacha game or any other game i played in general that's on mobile like i'm actually very surprised with how in depth this game goes so i'm gonna play another PV pvp match here and i'm gonna shut up So that's pretty much how PvP goes. There's also a ranked version, in case you guys don't know, but I want to challenge this Ready? team. Use up all my free attempts. Just 
Calm down and give it another shot. So that's pretty much uh, PDT right there. There's also a ranked version called Special Arena. This is locked. I have no idea why, but it keeps saying preparing. So they're gonna might their uh, so shift up might give us something in, in the future. But here is um, the Special Arena. So basically, your ranking does is determined off these chips right here. So if I claim my chips here, I go to ranking. I'm gonna be ranked 85. And also, this is kind of how it works. So as you see, I'm on Diamond Ten, Diamond Nine, and that also determines your reward info here. So I'd be right here, uh, 285 chips an hour and 411 tickets an hour. However, um, you start at beginner, then you go to Bronze One, I mean Bronze Two, One, Silver Three, Two and One, Gold Three, Two and One. And platinum three, two, and one. Then you have diamond ten through one and challenger ten through one. So, uh, yeah, the stakes are very high once you get up here, and you probably meet some some of the most stacked teams ever. So, as you see, at the end of the reward, end of the uh, season, which I think ends about every two weeks. So basically, periodically you'll get gems, and these gems help you recruit Nikes and stuff. So I highly recommend you collect these gems a lot. At least collect a lot of them. You also get a lot of them when you start the game and complete the first two chapters. So pretty much this is PvP. I mean not PvP, but this is the recruitment and the gotcha element. So as you see, you can get an ordinary recruit. And it kind of is like a lucky draw in a way. So as you see here, you just place up the four decimal places with a fifth digit around it. And this is Nikkei, the Nikkei's you can recruit. You can recruit all of these, even though it says wish list not included, because I've already unlocked the wish list, so I can pretty much increase the chances right here. So in a simpler way of saying that, is that once you start the game, you're able to recruit Nikkei's. Once you get a certain amount of Nikkei's, you'll unlock the wish list. And the wish list allows you to pick five Nikkei's from each manufacturer. Now keep in mind, this wish list has to be complete or it will not work. So for example, if I take Alice out, I have not selected 15 Nikkei's, there will be no recruitment bonuses for any SSR Nikkei's unless 15 have been selected, excluding Pilgrims. Save anyway, I confirm that, and the chances go down significantly. However, if I were to re-add a Nikkei, the chances will go up significantly, but only for 15 Nikkei's. The other ones you cannot recruit. So I hope that made sense. Now let's go to the real gotcha element of this game. So it looks like... Don't you know? That's pretty much how this is gonna go. But you can also skip this. So if I were to recruit again, like so, see what I get now. Okay. Now I'm going into my gems. So I'm going to actually skip this one. Just go ahead and see. Oh, I got a limit break. So this is Jackal. And I think that's my third one. So that's great. So we can confirm. So one thing right here, if I go to the shop, you you need. can also get modes which uh, let you recruit Nikkei's. However, I do want to go here. Are you looking for something? Let so I'm about know. three off from being able to recruit Crown uh, from this. But yeah, you can also recruit um, Nikkei's in other ways. Go ahead. Like. Welcome to the Raise and Rebuild Workshop. 
so yeah that's it that's all i have for you guys this is goddess of victory nikkei if you do want to check it out go ahead it's free just remember that there is a gotcha element to the game if you guys do enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one